Hey friend, you are back with the Aries Alchemist for another general tarot reading. I hope y'all can hear me over that. <clears throat> but this is for Pisces. So if you're a Pisces, sun, moon, or rising, something in this is for you. You have the Nine of Cups, the Moon in Reverse, the Six of Swords, and the Star in Reverse. And I will clarify those and then I'll get into what they mean. So the Nine of Cups is clarified by the Nine of Cups. This is making it very clear that this is going to be about a relationship um, and that it's going to be complicated because if you see on both cards, the Nine of Cups is depicted very, very differently. On this one, it's like they're upset because they have almost everything they need, but still something is missing. Here, what this person wants, the snake is in the way of it, but this person has it. But if you notice in both of these, the cups are actually empty. So it's a lot of potential and almost going on. Moon in reverse clarified by the death card is showing you that the potential in this specific relationship won't be fulfilled. Potential is largely made up anyway, but I'm seeing that you're going to get some information or you're going to notice something about them that's going to make you realize like, okay, maybe this isn't for me. And I think that's going to be your title. If I can get my pen open. So for Pisces, I can't remember if I said that at first, Pisces, Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. But it's okay if this isn't for you. Then you have the Six of Swords and the Magician in reverse. I am seeing that you're going to feel like, okay, let me go ahead and move on. This just isn't for me. There's no reason to draw it out longer than it needs to. But you doing that is going to make you feel away because you're going to feel with the Magician in reverse that you don't have everything you need. You feel like this person did complete you in a lot of ways, even though y'all aren't compatible as far as like the material world comes. Star in reverse and King of Swords in reverse. It'll be pretty soon after you break up with this person that someone else will come along to try to give you an offer. This is pretty much a decoy. It's going to see where your discernment is at and if you're able to find solitude instead of be lonely. <clears throat> so consider it a test. Let's see what your spirit guides have to say to you. Dates that might matter for you, March 9th, April 7th, April 5th. But you got listen to your heart and new opportunities. This is telling you to declutter your life. It's showing that after this decoy person and after you're out of the person's life that you're currently with, you will find someone else who's more suitable for you. Something that will be more monogamous and more longer term. You have to declutter first, though. You have to get rid of the old before the new has space to come in. And then you have prepare for rapid spiritual growth because the next person that you're with will be a soulmate. So lots of opportunity for soul growth. For you to get and stay in alignment, what are a couple things you can do? Something from the action deck. If anything wants to come out. Okay. Rejuvenate and reevaluate your priorities. So spirit wants you to focus more on yourself. What do you like? What makes you feel better? Focus on that instead of how can I please somebody else so that that person can make me feel better. And we'll leave off with the cannabis oracle. Black cherry pie, a hybrid. And this is the world card. They want you to pay attention to only the first line where it says you are complete. 
You are complete. I'm trying to make that clear. Okay. You don't need anybody else to complete you. You don't need another person at all. Once you realize that, you'll find somebody that you just want and they just want you and it'll go a lot smoother. So that's what I have for you guys today. If anything resonated, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel per usual. The engagement helps us all. And if you have questions about anything I said today or literally anything at all, you can book a reading with me through the link in the description box. All right, y'all. Peace.